There's no doubt it's been a rough week here in San Antonio, and today we are shedding light on everyone coming together to help. Whether it's serving coffee or helping animals, the community has come together to step up in these unprecedented times. We start with small businesses. Some have opened their doors to feed whoever they can in their neighborhoods, including Philosophy Coffee north of downtown, who thinks to other local coffee shops have been able to serve hot drinks and warm food as a second round of snow started again Thursday. So we're trying our best to stay open and feed the neighborhood. I wanna give a huge shout out to Barrio Barista. They shared their 120 eggs. So we got lots of eggs to keep everyone fed and warm. And also a huge shout out to What's Brewing. They gave us four gallons of whole milk so we can keep those lattes coming. And for the animals, the San Antonio Zoo has had crews working around the clock to provide care, moving some inside and dealing with no water. Um, to see our team down there 24 hours a day, a lot of them sleeping at the zoo, um, taking care of the animals, oftentimes leaving their own homes where they're having their own issues with power and water and their families are there and, you know, coming in because they're so dedicated to the animals in our care and taking care of um, the animals that they love and uh, watch over every day. What would you say were some of the biggest challenges that they had to deal with during this week's storm? I think the, the, the longevity of this storm has been the biggest challenge. You know, we're ready for, okay, we've lost power for a few hours or overnight and things like that. And but not on a scale of what we're seeing at the zoo or in San Antonio or Texas for that matter. So I think this, the scope of it and the longevity of it for going on, you know, four or five days now, and you just have new issues popping up all the time. And so for us, you know, we were in a pretty good maintenance mode for a while, just monitoring animals, monitoring infrastructure, uh, pri primarily primates up in Leon Springs reached out for help. So we started taking some of their animals in. We were literally putting them in our office buildings and any place warm we could, you know, have our vets take care of them at. Um, and then we lost power to some sections of the zoo, um, including our well pump, which the well pump is really the heart of our zoo. And it pumps in 78 degree water year round. So we have some endangered crocodiles, our flamingos. A lot of species live in that water and they can stay outdoors because of that warm water. Well, when we lost the well pump, the water temperature starts dropping immediately. So um, the team had to go into a really an emergency mode and all come together. We don't have a full animal care staff on. We have, um, you know, a stay in place team that's kind of overseeing everything. You can help the zoo by donating to the nonprofit. They are accepting help through their emergency fund to help with repairs caused during this week's storm. The Animal Defense League is staying busy as well, caring for all the strays. We're trying to make the best of this weather. However, we are still having our challenges here at ADL with these extreme weather conditions. Our care for the pets has not subsided. We do still have our staff on site. However, we are currently closed to the public, but we are asking for donations right now of any fleece blankets, anything that you may have around the house you're willing and able to provide us. We do have our centers open every day from 11 to 5 with our staff on site able to accept those. And for everybody in need of food right now, the San Antonio Food Bank is hosting emergency mega food distribution drives beginning today, continuing into the weekend. You can register to volunteer and to receive assistance. Head over to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Streski.